My name is Sudar Kajka. I'm an architect for the house, as you can see here. Design is important because it does have the capacity to, to elevate our experience. So every project is a chance to explore an architectural idea. And also I'm interested in this idea of construction and tectonics and how the materials and the method of construction can convey meaning or can express certain things. This house particularly is an exploration of the potential of reinforced concrete. And also how that interacts with nature and also with the light. I'm Agnes. Um, I'm um, in a real estate broker. After residing for uh, 32 years in my former home, I decided to uh, construct my uh, retirement home. This is a small lot, only 176 square meters, but my architect, architect Sudar, was able to build a very nice house that could accommodate my family. My first requirement to uh, Sudar was to build a house that could withstand an earthquake since uh, we are located close to the fault line. So we decided to use uh board formed reinforced concrete so that we could uh, basically design the whole house with one material. Effectively, the house is seen as a series of two tubes coming from the ground all the way up to the third floor. So the house is structured with this uh, idea in mind so that these two reinforced concrete tubes and it's connected by a bridge system to create connections between the different spaces and also create a, a large double volume in the center of the house. The primary thing that I wanted to achieve here was to create that feeling of space and openness and also a space for the family to come and get together and I think that's what they've said also that uh, is happening with at least these spaces that we have on the ground floor as well as on the third. One feature of the house that I really like also is my office since I work from home, uh, which was very useful during the pandemic. It is enclosed, but I don't feel isolated while I'm working there. I can uh, connect to my family members and to the help without getting out of the office. We needed also to make a strong statement about having like a feature that would somehow anchor the eye or lead the eye towards a central space. And that would be like this red mesh that we, we see here. The concrete really serves as a blank canvas in a way um, for, for light to happen, for materials to happen and for the interactions between these elements to really uh, shine through. And the other details have to be, I think, thought of as uh, playing a second role to that. So the, the wood that we use is also something that I think complements the, the bareness of the concrete, so it adds a little texture and warmth to the house. One thing I like about this slot is also that on all sides, on the right, on the left, and in front, there are open spaces that will not obstruct the view of the trees and the uh, greens all around us. Sudar made sure that we have lots of windows and even our main door is made of glass instead of wood. So I noticed that uh, at different times of the day or the month, the, the, the light that filters through these windows and sliding glass doors 
there's an interplay of this light that um, um, it's like work of art that I enjoy watching different times of the day. There's a lot of art here around the house also you can see so one is by uh, the architect and artist Michaela Benedicto. It's, it's a play on this um, reflectivity and also trying to bring more of the outside in and I think uh, it does it quite well by reflecting the light and the greens that are uh, around the house and it brings it into the house as well. Making an imprint on the concrete allows us to reveal the nature of the material itself whereas we are able to you know form it with these uh, Palocina wood board forms on the side on the walls that calls to mind the process of its creation by, by putting it there and then you, when you when you open up the concrete then it has this texture that's embedded within it. Same, same idea goes with the idea of the ceiling. We wanted to add a material there that had a, a character also and a warmth and a texture to it. So it was the banik. Um, we used a form liner basically that was banik. We got some from Tagaytay I think and laid it on the formwork and then poured the concrete on it and we extracted it. It lends this nice soft uh, texture to the ceiling. A lot of it has to do with making a framework, you know, a very bare framework so that the family or the people can inhabit it in their own way. So a lot of it is about creating a strong framework and then a lot of it is also about creating the space for people.